So how would Tom build advertising for, let's say a car dealership, right? Let's say if you sell cars, how would Tom build, let's say TVC for this car dealership? Let me tell you. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. So when we think about advertising, you know, we want to tell people why we're so good, why we're, we're better than anybody else. So let's say if I'm selling cars, my car has bigger engine, my car runs faster, my car has multiple colors, my car is more comfortable, my car has more buttons in the, in the seat, my car has so many things better than the competitors, okay? That's normally how people sell things. My product is better than your product, okay? That's how normally how people sell things. But let's say if Tom is the director of a marketing agency, all right? and Tom is building advertising for this car dealership. How will Tom build this app? I, I would not appeal on the feature spec because those things ultimately, you know, you win some, you lose some. You cannot win everything. You cannot lose everything. Some, sometimes your car is better. Sometimes your car is not as good, right? If you want to win on the specs, then you're not always going to win because when you have a great product, someone else is gonna come up with a better product and you gotta improve that. And, and you gotta build another better product to beat their product, right? You can't win on specs, always. So what do you do? In marketing, we wanna appeal to people emotionally, emotionally. And this is what I would do. Why do people drive cars other than like getting from point A to point B? Why do Tom drive a Bentley? What, what do I drive a Bentley? Why do people drive Mercedes and Maybach and you know all those cars? Because it is a status symbol. It is a status symbol, right? Because when you drive your Bentley to the event, people see you in the Bentley. Wow, that guy must that guy must know what he's doing. That guy has done it. That, that guy has made it. But you're you're sending a message. You're sending a message saying that I have made it. I know what I'm doing, right? So car is not just a transportation device but rather it's also a device that shows that symbol and if i were to build an ad for a car dealership this is what i would do what do people do let's say men all right men let's say men maybe their first car is a kia morning as they progress through their career they made more money they build businesses eventually maybe they are driving a toyota fortuner right eventually they're driving the audi Right? Eventually they're driving a Mercedes, eventually they're driving a Bentley, right? So that process probably took them 20 years. A process from going from that first Kia morning, old beat up Kia morning to the latest Bentley, right? That process probably took them 20 years. And that is the story that I want to tell. That, that's the story I want to tell. So if I were to build an ad for this car dealership, this is what I would do. Middle aged man, drive the car to the house and then shut down the ignition pull out a cigarette smoke and think back to to the trials and tribulations all the things that happened in the last 20 years from his first kia morning to his bentley all the things he has gone through you know what we're selling here is success right you drive my car you're gonna be successful that is my message and we want to appeal to people emotionally because people buy emotionally. People don't buy logically. People don't buy because of your spec. People don't buy because, you know, how fast you go from zero to 100. Well, actually I do, but you know, but people, normal people don't buy because how fast the car is. or They buy based on their emotional attachment to the car. They associate this car to success, they will buy this car. Why do people buy Mercedes? Because it's best or nothing. 
people buy Mercedes because it is a symbol of success. If you, you drive a Mercedes, you have made it in the world. That's why people buy it. And the reason why people do it is because of their commercials, because of their marketing message, best or nothing. If you buy Mercedes, you're best because you're not nothing, you're best, right? So when you build marketing messages, I want you to appeal to people's emotions. And by doing that, you're gonna reach a lot more people. Take some fucking action, appeal to people emotionally when you're doing marketing, and don't be a fucktard.